Okay, guys, I'm bringing you another day one gameplay. I'm going to decide where these gameplay videos go. One's going to be posted on JTech TV, the main channel. The other one's going to be posted on my backup account. Um, this is Bears Can Drift. The game is only... Do uh, sorry, sorry. I'm so excited for this. $9.99. That's it. Day one, $9.99. It's uh, just think of Crash B uh, Bandicoot Team Racing Mario Kart. Um, it's powered by Unreal Engine 4. It's an indie title. It has split screen. It has co-op. Uh, it's a racing game. We're gonna get into this. Please watch the whole video before you judge. Oh man, I've been so hyped up for this. I've been talking to the developers about Bears Can't Drift, and I've also been talking to uh, the developers behind Ocean Horn. So... This is how the game reminds you. Okay, so I'm in the game, right? So this this is the game. There's no like no cutscenes or anything. You just start playing the game. So it's a bear on a cart. And you can move. He's picking in his ear. Okay, that's nice enough. So what I like about this game, it reminds you of Crash Bandicoot because it's like there's portals. Like you can go this way or this way or this way. This is my first time playing, so I didn't even know that there were portals at this little stop. But I remember uh, seeing pictures where it was a more of a place like Crash Bandicoot, little medium area, and then there was portals, and it seemed a lot even more like Crash Bandicoot. So I'm not really sure where I want to go, probably somewhere where water is. So I'm going to take this route and just hope that I'm good here. Oh, no loading screens. I just go here. Okay, that's nice to know. Okay, let's go take a look at that water. Look at that fucking water. God, that shit looks nice. Wow. Such a soft game. Amazing use of the Unreal Engine 4. I don't really like always brag about indie titles, but for $9.99, I, I got a fucking trophy already for a silver. Activate medium difficulty. Oh, I was, oh, what? So if I was to, so you mean to tell me if I was to activate hard difficulty, I would have got a gold. And if I would have activated the easy difficulty, I would have just achieved what? Okay, whatever. We're gonna keep playing. Okay, we're gonna keep playing. Hold on. I just wanted to check something on my trophies. Whatever you're seeing, just pretend like you didn't see it. Hold on. I just want to see something real quick. Okay, bears can drift. Yep, that is uh that seems to be right. This game is nine dollars and ninety nine cents. I highly recommend it. The game is also on Steam, uh, but we're worrying about the PlayStation side of things. Couch co op, online play. I would highly recommend this damn game. Um, I would highly. I was so excited for this game. Um, uh, it's not disappointing me yet. So, it's, here we go. This must have been that cave I saw in the picture. Okay, and now I'm kind of freaking out now. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on here. Uh, uh, oh, shit. So now it's that Crash Bandicoot shit. This is the medium area. And it's like, you got that portal, but then you got this portal where you can go to the ice land. And then, oh my god, I'm about to cry. Because the shit's so badass. But I can go back here. It, <laughs> the door formed into a bear face. But it was another path right here. And it's like, I just like how fluid this game is. And no load screens. And I'm just liking it. Well, so what's down here? I'm not really sure what this is all is. What is this? I'm confused. I didn't know what I'm what I'm doing. 
There's not really a lot of talking on this game because they're bears. Oh. Okay. Um. Once again, we're just gonna play this game. We're gonna see what it's all about. Oh, now I understand. I just restarted the whole fucking game. I made a mistake. I didn't know. They didn't give me like any words or anything. So. So this must be hard difficulty because the bear looked angry. And the one with the baby, uh, with the pacifier in his mouth, that must be easy difficulty. So from what... From... Oh, shit. But you have to get over that ridge to confirm that you have the diff hard difficulty. If not, you won't get that trophy for picking this. Is it a way we can jump? It's a wind current that's gonna... Okay. <laughs> you would have to... So, if you want that gold trophy for activating this, you have to activate it. So, you have to find a way across that damn uh, ridge. Or you're just fucked. Almost made it. So, normal, easy. Easy takes you straight here. You activate the trophy. That's how it's done. So, you can get, from what I'm seeing, you can get a bronze, a silver, and a gold. Gold might be a little bit difficult because you got to get over that ridge. But, this is Bears Can't Drift. Um, I'm probably going to delete this save and go back and do normal. Um, but this is Bears Can Drift. We're gonna go over here to the water real quick. Uh, I think I'm gonna post this on my main channel. I want I want you guys to know more about this game. I think it's awesome. Um, for nine dollars and ninety nine cents, I would I would recommend this to everybody on the PS4. If you want your little Crash Team Racing nostalgia back, I'm pretty. Sh what the. F I would uh, recommend you get this game. So what this? What's this all about? A lot of portals. Really reminded me a lot of Crash Bandicoot right here. I mean, the rumor was going around that the rumor was going around that this this is like our new Crash Bandicoot title. Of course, it's on PC. Um, now there's no word if it's gonna be on uh, there okay I don't know what that's all about oh I can drift hope I can drift with circle okay why is the game called bears can't drift if they literally can drift it's a beautiful game uh, I love everything that I'm seeing. I love the graphics. It's very, very, very soft. I, I like it. I think, I think it's a fucking good ass game for nine dollars and ninety nine cents. You can't beat it. Um, and made with the Unreal Engine four. I don't sleep on this damn. Oh wait up, hold on. I'm gonna go through here and see what this is all about. I mean, wow. 
It's always good to have one of these type of games. Really it is. Always good to have one of these types. Wow, what the fuck? Just a fun ass title.